All right, welcome back, y'all. We back at the Ellie Show, still episode eight. Y'all make some noise. Yeah. So on my on my left here, I got Ross Kofi, the farmer, yeah, the, the the entertainer. I mean, this guy here, he's a lot of things, man. He wear a lot of hats, yo. He's gonna do music here today at the Malcolm X Festival. So you know, we're here. Um, it's th celebrating 32 years of the Malcolm X Fest, and you've been a part of this for the whole time, 32? Not 32, but a long time still, at least 20. At least 20, wow. Blah, 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 say the same thing, man. So that's awesome, man. So what bring you to here, to the Malcolm X Festival, well, and to be a part of this? Like, what? First and foremost, it's family, you know? Yeah. Uh, as a nation builder, we love to feel the feeling yeah. of what we working for. Mm -hmm. And if you look around, this is an example of how we can live every day. Right. We're doing business, we're loving each other, we're eating good, yeah. we're praying. All of the elements yes. of life yes. is happening right here. Yes. So where else would I be? <laughs> That's the first thing. And then, That's the fact. And then the family that's putting it on. Right. Family, man, right. this is the lineage, you know? Yes. This is our lineage, our revolutionary lineage, yes. again, of builders, you know? Yes. Not just ones who talk. A mouthpiece, you know, it has a purpose because we need people with, with voices right but when the people bring it together with action behind the voice yes and that's what mxgm represent you know that's as, as, a, as, a, as an organization that's right. about building you know? right so yo so you say for tw about 20 years out of the 32 you yeah man my family used to live right across the street our brother loose we remember that oh yeah you that do. Yeah. remember that yeah, you do. my babies was born right across the street wow I, there was, I many times i used to walk across the street we pray yes Burn up our chalice yes. and come and get on the stage and blaze up the fire, you know? Yes. So, <laughs> just like that. Just like that? From, from the 90s. From the That's 90s. That's awesome, yo. Yeah, so, originally, are you from Atlanta? No, I was born in Guyana, South You're America. You're born in Guyana? Yeah, yeah. So, Guyana, from Guyana to Atlanta? Guyana to Atlanta in the early 80s. Uh, on political exile, we had to leave the country just based on the fact that our family inherited a, a struggle against a dictatorship, oh. you know, and so it became unsafe and really, my mom couldn't even live really. So she and um, my siblings came over while my father stayed behind yeah. to carry on that work. And that was a mutual agreement, you know, amongst husband and wife, you know what I yeah. mean? And they stayed happily married till the day she transitioned in 2017. Oh, even though we lived on separate continents for a couple of decades. Right. So yeah, we came here and then we went out to California Oh, okay. So I spent my teenage years in this. You been to school out there in too? Southern California, drug central, the yeah, crack era, yeah, all that yeah, madness, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? And so we came back out here for school. Okay, you came here I for came, school. I came to Augusta, Georgia, for school. Okay, okay. And then what I came up to Atlanta during the time when I was in school. I was, I was commuting back and forth. Okay. And I just really settled here in about '94, '95. Okay. Yeah, man. So yeah, and you do music too, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So what, what, talk about your music. Oh, what got man. you doing music? You wow. always do music, even in Guyana. Uh, not from Guyana. From Guyana, we did music in the sense of how traditional people. Music is a big part of our culture, mm -hmm. as you know. Yeah. So we always singing songs. Yeah. Folk songs, marriage songs. Yeah. Revolutionary songs. Yeah. We always singing songs. Yes. So from that. But when I started really doing music and recording was about 1988, 87, 88 okay. in California. All right. Uh, a member of a group called the Rooftop Ghetto Rascals. That's Def, your Def, group? Well, I, that, that was a crew that was already existing and the brothers brought me in. You know? Okay. You know what I mean? Just, you add on to the group. Yeah, so you know, we and they already loved the synergy of hip hop and reggae. That was already That's a part of their reality. Yeah. So I fit right in. You brought the reggae to them? Well, I didn't bring it to them, no. They already had it. Okay. They already had yeah. it. Some of these brothers are my big brothers, my OGs, okay, you know? That's what's so up. they already had the reggae. You right. know, in Southern California, that's how the life is. Okay. You know, you know what I mean? Gang banging, hip hop, reggae, <laughs> yeah. herb, you know, warrior hood, the right, whole vibe. Right, you know? right, the whole vibe. So, yeah, so uh, from there, we, when we came back east, we had the first iteration of the Black Angels. Yeah. In college days. Okay. So my brother Kelvin X, Russ Rock, um, G Phenomenon, and all Then We had a whole group. Um, and, and our group was called the Black Angels, as part of a bigger collective. Okay. Then we came up here, we had the second iteration of the Black Angels. Okay. That's when I met. Here in Atlanta. Yeah, that's when I met the Lions. Okay. Lyrics is unified. 
Never separated. Never separated. Never separated. Uh, Never separated. Yeah, you know, so. so and then from them, you know, we started really getting more into the reggae, roots reggae, because right. at the time that I started learning about Rastafari, you know? Yeah. Met one of my teachers, Abba Shaka. Yes. You know, who Big is the Abba head Shaka. rocker, you know what I mean? Yes. And through teaching I about music, he taught us a lot about Rastafari. Mm. And at that time, they started um, participating in Naya Bingi order. Yeah. You know, as a priest and everything. And so, you know, after a while, I stopped really, I didn't, I never stopped doing hip hop music. But I really started working more with a band. Yeah. And that's what you're going to see this evening, too. Okay, you know? yeah, because you're the closer, aren't you? Yeah, man. Yes, man. Yes. Yeah. I like that, man. Yes, that makes some noise for Roscoe Key, man. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Okay. This guy here, man, he's been doing a lot. What a, you got a farm, too. A few of them. I haven't been to the farm yet. Luce looked at me like, well, you, you haven't been there yet? Say, like, tell him go get a late pass. Yeah. <laughs> late pass. Late pass for El Sun. Tell me about that, man. <laughs> uh, we have a few farms that we steward, mm. you know, because as we say, you know, part of our tagline, if you will, um, life is a farm. Yeah. And then what that means is that the fundamental aspects of agriculture yeah. are the same as the fundamental aspects of human life, yeah. you know, village life. So that's part of our mission is to bring agriculture into the pop culture. You and know? it's open to the public? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, so we have two farms up here that we steward that are our partner with Queen Yen at OU and Botanical Gardens. Okay. Um, used to be called Shamba back in the day. Okay. Now the sister bought it, the land, you know, yeah, so yeah. it's owned by a black woman. Yes. You know Ashe, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then also another land, um, Ashe Farms okay. in Southwest Ashe Atlanta. Farms. Wow. You no, know, we do farm for people all over the place. Okay. You know, we, that's a lot of, we have clients east, west, north, and south. Yeah. And then so down south right now, we're working on a project on a 100 acre farm that we're working in, in, a, in alliance with the National Black Food and Justice Alliance. Yeah. An organization called BOLD. Okay. Where my, my company on the farm, we're stewarding that land. Okay. So we're using sheep and goat as the main tools of regenerative, or we say reparative wow. agriculture. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing, yo. What bring you into that? Is Grow well, up from in birth, that? yeah, from birth. Yeah, my mother really, Ibaye, my mother. You know, I gotta you know give that. credit to her. Yeah, because from young. Yeah. You know, on my get social you, media page, you. you got pictures of my mama and us milking yeah. the milking the cows. Yeah. yeah. I used to have to take the cows to school, be, to, to the pasture before school in the morning. Wow. So you live so, a real farm life. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wow, so man. I must say, during them California years, during the adolescent years. I wasn't farming. I was okay. thinking about hip hop and girls. You yeah, know? yeah. You know what I mean, but when I became a father, yeah. right across the street from where we're sitting right now, yeah, it's like everything inst changed. Instinct kicked in. Mm. Instinct kicked in, and yeah. we had a family meeting. Abba Shaka, mm. big up Umi Blackfoot, yeah. Mama Serana, my, my, the mother of my children, yeah. you know. And we had the family meeting, and you know, some ones wanted to keep a lawn, yeah. and my position was like, yo, you can't eat grass, so they compromised, and so we had half of the, the yard was a farm or a yeah, garden, and yeah. half of the yard was a lawn. Yeah. Built up a chicken hoop with, 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 with scraps, yeah. you know, from the lumber, you know, from construction sites. Right. Just so my children could have that experience that I had. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, and from then it's just nonstop. So I'm now they getting it from, they getting it from birth now. They too getting as it well. from birth. They got it from birth, um, and of course, as children do, they. They, they had a period of resistance. Okay. They didn't well, want to hear yeah. nothing about yeah. no farming. Yeah. But I'm proud to say all of them, man. They now they seek me out about come, daddy, plant a garden in my house, right. or can I? You got you need some extra work. Right. I want to make you know whatever it is. Yeah. Bring some vegetables for us. Yeah. So you know, children live what they learn. You know. Right. Do you ever have like classes to teach people how yeah, to man, farm? Yeah, definitely. You do. Yeah, we got a website on the farm.com. This O N D A on the farm.com. On the farm.com. Yeah, and then that will that will link you to our social media, link us to the classes, all the the events we do. Just yeah. a full a, a one stop shop, so yeah. people can find out everything there. So what about um? You got another event too, Roots in the West End, right? Of course, man. What's up with that, man? Well, that's not my event, but it's my event You're because my family that. my family put right. it on. So I take ownership in, uh, in yeah. assisting and strengthening that. Yes. But I can't take credit for the conception of it. That's okay. Iras, yes. Abashaka, and yes. Palma, and then Bridget. Yes, there, you know? yes. But that's my family. But I see you a part of it, so you of know. Of course. Well, that's, that's what I'm awesome. saying. That's yeah. why I have to say it like that. Because <laughs> yeah. I am. Respect. However, I got to give respect to where respect due for the conception. Absolutely, But, man. you know, as them tell me about it, Raskopi come in and deal what we have to do and hold my corner, yeah. you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Absolutely. And El Son be there. Yeah, you know I'm a big noise. With the big, with the <laughs> big guns. <laughs> big 
gun, with the big gun. Yeah. Bruce Lee be there with the big gun. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what's the name of that? Thunderbush style. Yes, Thunderbush Thunder style. Yeah. You think me don't know? Right. So, <laughs> Roscoe be been around, man. Oh, you mean? Yes, yo. Yeah, man, we here, man. Huh? WRMG, yeah, you on the radio as well. Yeah, this is That's my right. 28th year on the radio. What station is yours? or what? what 89.3. 89.3. WRMG, Radio Free show. Georgia. Oh, it's called the Ancestral Rock now. The Ancestral Rock. The okay. Ancestral, Ancestral Rock. Rock. We're on from 2 to 4 every Thursday. Every Thursday from 2 to 4. Yeah. yeah. You know, we used to be, um, we've done a lot of different slots. Yeah. We started 3 to 6 in the AM. Okay. Overnight with a Reggae University 3. Yeah. Uh, Ross Marvin was on that same time. Big up Ross Marvin. Yeah, big Our up brother Ross Malik Marvin. Kalam, rest yes, in power. Rest in power. I used you to know? see Malik over here every time All I come here, man. That was our slot. You know, yes. You know, the late night ghetto, like, like, like Vaughn said, you know? Yes. And then we switched to 11 to 2 Friday night. Right. After Mama Afrikiti. Okay. Ibaye, rest in power. She she transitioned about a year and a half ago. Yeah. You know, great, great warrior. Wow. Uh, one of the Radio Free Griots. So I and I is like the second generation of Radio Free Griots, yeah. you know? Yeah. And we say that because that's what the elders told me, because it's not just everybody's a Radio Free Griot, you know? So I'm proud to say that. Right. You know what I mean? Because it's, again, it's a lineage. Yeah, it is. It's a legacy of community service through the radio station. I Baba was, Bilal, yeah. original radio yes, figure. Yes, Baba was here. Uh, Ia Fulani, mm -hmm. KT, mm -hmm. Baba Bomani Bakari, rest in power. Yeah. Uh, who else? Of course, Ia Fulani, I said that already. There's a mm. few others whose names I'm missing it right now. Yeah. Afikiri. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, but these are all the Radio Figrio. Wow. You know what I'm saying? They're the first class, you know? Yeah. That's awesome, Oh, man. Baba Jim Cameron. Baba Jim Cameron. You see, you, uh, you spoke him up, right? Of course. The you mountain lion. I'm seeing him Yeah. Lion. Word, man. So, yeah, Baba. I, I, I mean, it's just awesome to have you here, man. Yeah, you know, getting me. this show. We getting this show going. Yes, this sir. is episode eight. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's powerful about to lock. I you know what I mean? You know, all white. So, you know what I mean? It's just a they beautiful time, show. man. Yeah, Let me ask you this. What kind of impact do you think the Malcolm X Festival has on the community here? Well, just look around. But for the world, for the ones who don't have the benefit of looking around, mm -hmm. it's a family reunion. Yeah. And there's no words that can describe the impact that family has. Right. Solidarity has, right. you know? Like solidarity in the flesh. Guys, we know love is an action verb. Right. So Malcolm X Fest gives us an opportunity to recharge. Cause we still at war, you know? Yeah, yeah. The victory has been proclaimed and we walking it through now. Yeah. It's, it's a still a war. So what does that mean? That means that our assignment as warriors is usually in the lonesome valleys. We going out in the bush, right. recruiting soldiers. Right. So it's always beautiful when we can come together <laughs> yeah. and recharge, you feel me? Absolutely, Before man. we go back out in the bush. Absolutely. So that's what I'm bringing this evening, you know? Yeah. We're just bringing some food for the family yeah. so that we can recharge, man, yeah. so we can continue to do what we do. We need that, man. For sure. We need that, man, for real, yo. For sure. What's up, Louis? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the album, talk man. to me. Yeah, yes. you got so your hands is involved we, in everything. We got man. we got about we got about four albums that are in the works and have been in the works for years. Okay. Just different concepts and everything, you yeah. know? But uh, the family, you can definitely, again, check out onthefarm.com. Onthefarm.com. Because that would lead, us, lead you to our band camp. Yeah. We're in the process of now streaming on all the different platforms. And we have, you know, a lot of different stuff that's out there yeah. already. But uh, I want to big up my brethren, the Sons of Light. Sons of Light, yeah. 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 We recorded most of the album in the den, in the lion's den. Really? Of course. What? With Hakeem. Yes. Hakeem the Dream and, and Taj the and Bilal dreams, and all that kind of weird. That's the Taj, man. It was, matter of fact, it was after the introduction album mm. that I heard the introduction album. I'm like, yo, who is these cats? Yeah. And so the Lions then, they set the tone, they set the foundation in terms yeah. of that collaboration, yeah. a full album collaboration with the Sons. Yeah. And then we came behind with the Materialist album. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. That's awesome, classic, man. Classic, Look at classic, that, man. classic. Man. Yo, we need to do something, some new stuff yeah, together, man. All done. of us, yo. It's already done. For real, yo. It's already real. done. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's already done. I can't wait to see when you're gonna rock, yo. Yeah. We're looking forward. Yes, man. This is beautiful, yeah, man. man. What's up, Blues? Well, thank you for having us, Cause man. Cause I don't want to hold them up too much, cause I could go in, you know what I mean? Sure. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,